go to the Cedar Beach Fishing Pier on the North Shore. Never been here before. It's like 12.30. There's like a little bay to the left. And there's a lot of ships. You guys still see it? Smaller ships. Stop, stop, stop. What is this? Booth closed. Rio Guevara Power Sticker must pay. Use pay station. Okay. Well, I'm not coming. See the beach. Oh wow, it's got a lot of cool stuff here. What is that? That's like a scenic route, I guess. I'm not sure you get fish from there. <laughs> we'll drop some crab traps. It's pretty cool. It looks like a just a scenic route. So this is like a very high end. Uh, High end uh, neighborhood. Yeah, I've never been here before. And there's a fishing pier at the end over here somewhere. Stop. There's like a trail. There's a it's like a national park reserve. It's pretty cool. I don't know how the township like. Mighty charge or whatever. There's a oh, there's a ship. There's a shipyard here. They sell ships, and you can rent harbor space. So yeah, this place really is for you know middle class income families. It's not a cheap neighborhood. The gas is like five dollars a gallon for regular. In one thousand feet, your destination will be on the left. <laughs> this is a big North Shore shipping yard. I'm not sure if anything is open. If there's fish on the North Shore. Ugh. Your destination is on the left. There's a some Mexicans here, so everything is allowed here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a Mexican fisherman. I just need a map. There's the pier. So we're the north side Cedar Beach fishing pier. There's a parking meter here, but it's not until after Memorial Day, I think. <laughs> Even the bathroom's closed. Bathroom's in front of me. Never use the porta potties because uh, they're disgusting. Me and my work van drove up two hours here. There's a fishing pier. People say there's no fish, but let's put some bait in there. For like maybe three hours, four hours. There's a nice jetty there, nice jetty there. I don't know how you cross that, maybe like a walk. I could walk through there. <laughs> but yeah, it's scary. The boats are coming through here. They're gonna hit your fishing line. So, this is nice. Might be blackfish, who knows? Might be flounder on the beach somewhere. Or by the pier. No buzz at the pier. I don't know why. There's a jetty over there, but I don't feel like roughing it today. I bet you in July or June, this place is crazy. You know? I think nobody's at the pier because the water's moving in towards the pier. And the water's very shallow. But the wind is pushing towards me right now, not forward. I don't know, 
with the wave is going. Like, fish even coming here. So I don't want to carry stuff. I have my my car. Work hard. Take it easy. Right here. Get my spot. Shit! I did. Why did I bring my chair? I should have bought my chair. I have this. My car's right there, anyways. Whatever. Let me get set up. I made some of these um, rigs beforehand. I think this is the 50 pound, and this is the 60 pound. So I don't know what I'm trying to catch here. I think today's good. Normally, I bet you there's boats. It's cold and windy. Normally, there's boats here. Catching anything. Where am I put my weights? Shit. <laughs> uh, messed up somewhere. Put the weights on the top. I'll just do one cook. Yeah, this don't want one. I'm about to tie a new one. Oh, big one! Oh! No way! That's crazy! You got the crab or just the. I haven't caught anything, nobody caught anything since that guy got lucky with the blackfish. So I'm gonna try <laughs> jig. This new 7 inch jerk shad. Very slow. It might work. Who knows what's down there? Get on uh, Try to get it, but I don't think he got it. Um, CV or something else. Could be a skate. Something's on it. Doesn't feel like CV. Telling you it's a skate. So I pull a little bit. Could be a blackfish. That's <laughs> a sea robin. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a big sea robin. Some people like this shit. Finally. Uh, <laughs> spray water all over me. I wonder if anybody wants it. Pretty good size. You just see robins fight a lot harder than this. So he's not even fighting that hard. Take the hook off. Oh, finally. Okay, the fish is finally coming. This is my hooker. Okay, maybe the fish are finally coming besides that blackfish. Okay, calm down, be gentle. You be gentle, I'll be gentle. You can maybe eat some salt. I feel like he's hooked in his throat. Okay, where's the hook now? It's like deep in there. Yeah. 
you know, he's I'm not gonna keep it. I wish that somebody somebody wanted they could have it. Eat everything. Take a picture. Beautiful fish. I don't see I see why I'm just clean the wire. So you bake it, it'll be really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah, have water. Come on, calm down. <laughs> oh, something again. It was big this time. Something we can take home. Okay. <laughs> Could be a black fish. It's fighting so much. Whoa, yeah, it could be a black fish. It's fighting. Oh, same thing. <laughs> this is the same sea rod. Maybe the same one that I caught before. Another sea robin. Big sea robin. They just came in here. Let's see the beach. Big one crossing. No, it's not the same one I looked before, really. I just released it. Beautiful. Sea robin. Time for me to head out. Mother's Day. Uh, about 5 o'clock. I still gotta go. Do a little bit of work. Ah, uh, we're gonna stay all day. And back. Hopefully, I'll come back here when it's flounder season and whatever season is here. I think I forgot a little hook here. There's one left on hook. Uh, it's just up to here. I forgot all about it. Can't get out. It's rigged up in nice color. Right down Anything, my cheese, my wallet. Cold. Huh? Uh, got two sea robins, and my friend got a, like a, kind of like a, almost a 60 inch blackfish. <laughs> Really? Just randomly. He was about to leave and then his rod just went crazy. And really? that's it. That's all we got like the last three. 16 inch blackfish. Damn. It was huge. I it wasn't two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, I honestly didn't expect that over here. Yeah, but I was fluking the whole time. There's no fluke. No fluke they would have played my, my gulp tail a little yeah, bit. I just for, I saw you, uh, you were just, you chunking what we were using, clam? Oh, uh, yeah, clam. It just, the, you know. It, well. It was a good visit. Cedar Beach is really nice. It has a lot of jetties. Should be really great for blackfish, fluke. It's got very shallow water, so the fluke is probably there. On the right side is a big uh, beach, so it's actually it is a beach, <laughs> even though the fishing pier is very tiny. But it could get very crowded. The parking is free until June first, and then they charge four dollars an hour. It's a small parking lot. So good luck getting space there when the fish are coming in full bloom in summer. Uh, I think they stop it after September 1st, which is Labor Day. Or September 12th, I'm not too sure. But uh, I guess uh, Blackfish is in October. It will be like a lot of Blackfish there, right? So it will be free parking again. It's really nice. I had a really fun experience uh, going to a new place. Uh, someone I just met, he caught 
this uh, he was about to leave you know we both came at the same time it's like about an hour he said there's no bite he's about to pick up his rod to leave and then that 16 blackfish caught on and uh he reeled it up uh, it was amazing and then i caught two uh big sea robins so i was pretty excited too so all in all it was a great day uh you guys should get a visit and take a look i hope i can visit some cool places with my free time later this summer take care